What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are showcasing an original evolution. We got ourselves a Flareon Sun team for Regulation H. Now, when it comes to Flareon in Scarlet and Violet, I believe I haven't showcased this Pokemon on the channel. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. If I did, I definitely forget, but we haven't used this Pokemon in so long, so I'm super excited to be using it and hopefully grabbing you guys some wins on the casual ladder. But let's talk about this Flareon build as it has Guts and a Toxic Orb as its item and ability. On top of that, it's got the normal Terror type with Quick Attack for first turn priority, Flare Blitz, Protect, and Facade. So we can do insane amount of damage with Flare Blitz in the Sun or Facade with that Guts and Toxic Orb combo. Our sun setter for today's team going to be nine tails with drought and citrus berry i absolutely love the moveset that we're using with this nine tails with protect heat wave snarl and will o giving us a way to lower special attack and burn physical attackers it wouldn't be a sun team without venusaur so we got venusaur on today's team as well with chlorophyll doubling its speed in the sun wide lens as its item leaf storm acid spray earth power and everybody's favorite move sleep powder our final three pokemon on today's team features tauros kilowattro and foregraph Rigraph's going to be there to counter Trick Room teams with Imprison and Trick Room. Kilowatch has got Tailwind, can do some big time damage with Thunderbolt and Air Slash. On top of that, it has the competitive ability, so if we're going up against like Intimidate Pokemon such as Incineroar, we can just bring out Kilowatch, try to get that competitive trigger, and go plus two on special attack. Our final Pokemon is going to be Fire Tauros, got Intimidate with the Choice Band, doing big time damage all around with Flare Blitz, Rock Slide, Wild Charge, and Close Combat. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner and if you do enjoy today's video don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel but without further ado let's hop to our first match showcasing flareon first match on its way and we going up against another evolution and groudon let's not forget about groudon this one's gonna be a tough one for us anytime we go up against regulation g teams we always struggle but looking at this team sun is gonna be out for a good bit so i'm ready to rock it i am ready to rock it but before we get going my battery's low which means I need my charger. My charger was like way over here. It's like hanging on my wall. So I'm going to plug in real quick. I do not want Ninetales as my lead. We might not even bring Ninetales. Actually, we might want to lead Ninetales. I definitely want to lead like Flareon. Actually, yeah, let's lead Ninetales and Flareon. This actually works out perfectly because if they throw out special attackers, we can snarl. Physical attackers, we can burn. I like that a lot. So I'm going to go into both of them. Um, we're going to need ways to deal with this Groudon. So going into Venusaur could be good. And do we want to go maybe for Rigorath? I think Frigoraph could be good, especially with, like, Helping Hand. I do like that. So, I'm going to go Frigoraph. Rather than Kilowatt or... What's it called? What's that Pokemon's name? Tauros. I mean, Groudon's just going to be a massive threat. So, we kind of want to either burn it or, like, put it to sleep. I just feel like we're going to be struggling up against that thing. So, we'll figure it out. Hopefully, they don't lead it. If they do lead it, we're going to have to burn it. We're going to have to burn it. And they're going to go Charizard Groudon. Kind of sucks. We're going to have to burn this bad boy. Going to have to burn this thing. And Ninetales, are you faster than Groudon? I think you are, right? Is that a correct statement to make? 149, you should be. You should be. So I think we're safe just going into a Will-O-Wisp here. And then just protecting our Flareon. Getting that Guts triggered. So I'm going to protect up. And I'm going to land this Will-O-Wisp. That's huge. That's a, that's a big time Will-O-Wisp land. That's a big time land. This one's going to be a tough first match for us. Real tough first match. Hopefully we can pull it off. Dragon Pulse is going to launch into my Flareon. We're going to block it and probably P Blades flying. Precipice Blades. Earthquake instead. Okay, that's actually smarter to roll with Charizard on your side. I wonder if Ninetales can soak this. This could be a nice little soak up for him. This could be a nice big time soak up. Oh yeah, Burn's helping us out tremendously. Burn's helping us out tremendously. Solar Power's popping. Um, I'm hoping Flareon can outspeed because this would be... This would be really nice for us to uh, actually maybe take out the Charizard. Because I'm going to go into a Snarl here just to lower that Charizard special attack. And do I normal Terra and Facade and look for the KO? I'm actually really cool with that. That's going to be my play. I'm going to normal Terra with the Flareon. This video is all about Flareon. So let's go for the Facade here. We got the Guts triggered. We got the Terra boost now. Facade's double damage because we got a status condition. I'm all about this. Plus Charizard's not that bulky at all. And Ninetales outspeeds, which is good news. So Ninetales is going to be able to get off a Snarl. So if Charizard does outspeed our Flareon, it's not going to do too much damage here. And a Dragon Pulse is going to launch to Ninetales, which you should soak. Yeah, you do. Awesome. That's dope. We eat up our Citrus Berry. Oh, yes. And we should say bye-bye to Charizard. Probably launch another EQ, which we should be fine with. Facade coming out here. 
How much damage are we launching? KO? Flareon's KOing. Let's get it. That's why I love this Ninetales build. That's what I was saying in the, uh, the team preview today at the beginning of the video. This Ninetales Nine -tails build is just so good. You control the attack stats really well. Did she get a crit on my Ninetales? Of course she did. Of course she did. Ain't nothing I can do about that. I really wanted Ninetales for another turn. But with the sun out now, I can bring out Venusaur, have Flareon next to it. Groudon is slower than both of them. So that is good news for us. Real good news for us. So we're going to Venusaur. We do have Frigoraph. We do have Frigoraph, and I'm kind of surprised that we're outspeeding this team. And I kind of brought Frigoraph in just so we, in case we don't outspeed. But Sylveon's going to come out here. Um, do I just put Sylveon to sleep? I think I honestly just leave Stormish Groudon down, look to KO it, and then just Flare Blitz. Yeah, Flare Blitz would do more damage. Let's, let's see if we can pick up some KO. So Leaf Storm going to launch here. KOin. It is. Bye-bye, Groudon. Get it on out of here. We might have to swap our Venus for next turn if it survives whatever Flareon or whatever Sylveon has to offer. But I'm hoping Flareon could just KO here, right? In the sun, Flare Blitz, Guts, Stab, KO. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Flareon picking up a KO. That's massive. That pretty much just put us in a position to win this game. No problem. I do take mean recoil damage. And I'm going to take some poison damage, but we have to swap our Venus for this turn. Unless we just want to put this next Pokemon to sleep. We got options. It's going to be Latios. It's going to be Latios. Uh, I don't mind swapping here. I don't mind swapping and then just going for like a facade if we can land it. So swapping the Venusaur back. Latios, what are you going to do? You want to take out my Flareon? I just want my special attack stat back. That's why I want to swap Venusaur. And he's going to hit that Terra button. So Terrasla is coming out here. This might be a Steel Terra. A lot of Latios is do rock steel terror. But this one's gonna be psychic. Ooh, fancy. Which means you're probably going after Venusaur. Hopefully. I'd rather keep my Flareon here. Flareon's out speed. This might KO. He's hitting hard right now. Flareon's not playing around. Oh my lord, this thing's hitting like an absolute truck. GG to opponent. Flareon clutching up in match number one. Moving on to our second match, and Flareon lit it up in match number one. No pun intended. But. Going up against a dope team, Snorlax, Blastoids, Gengar, Hatterene, Indeedee, and Incineroar. Pretty strong team, pretty dope team. Three Generation 1 Pokemon. You gotta love the Gen 1 guys. You gotta love the Gen 1 guys. But one thing I do notice is no weather control, which is huge. So I can lead Ninetales, get the weather popping. Could go in with Venusaur, but I like Flareon again. I really do like Flareon, so I'm gonna go in with both of them. Um, I could go in with like more like Imprisoned Trick Room kind of play if I wanted to. But I don't know if they're going to lead those two. That could be tough news if they do lead those two. Maybe we'll bring Flareon as back end. And maybe just go Venus right here so we can put like Hatterene to sleep. But in that case, they could just go for Follow Me. You know what? We're going to go Ferrigraph and Kilowattro. If they go into Incineroar, that would be huge. And then we'll go Ninetales and Flareon for late game. Could go Venusaur. Venusaur might be a little bit better. But Venusaur actually would be better. But it's a Flareon video, so, <laughs> so we're using Flareon. Obviously, Venusaur will be better here. They got Blastoids, they got Gengar. We have Earth Power on our, our uh, Venusaur to deal with Gengar. But it's a Flareon video. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a man of the people. I'm just trying to give you guys what you want to see. You guys seen plenty of Venusaur. How many times have you guys seen Flareon? Probably not a lot, right? So I, I'm bringing you guys Flareon. Hopefully, we can still grab ourselves a win. And they do end up leading Incineroar. So Kilowattle... Going plus two on special attack, massive for us. Massive for us. Just huge. And you can't fake me out. I'm ready to roll. I'm ready to roll. Now, is this thing going to pop Trick Room? Because I might just imprison Trick Room. I might just imprison Trick Room. I might just imprison Trick Room. A little bit of competitive boost. Plus two. Yeah, I'm going to imprison Trick Room. Not trying to deal with that. And... Could Terra, but um, no, we're just going to go into Thunderbolt here. We already got some speed. We'll try to send it into the Incineroar slot. How much damage are we doing? Plus two? Oh, yes. That's great damage. We're going to we're gonna force him to use his berry already. So, berry early on into this match. We're going to imprison the Trick Room. Hopefully, they're going for Trick Room. But Darkest Lair, you're going to fly. That, that, that does some mean damage. That does some mean damage. Did I imprison up? Show me you're going for Trick Room. Let's go. Good call for us. Good call for us. Uh, I'm going to look to KO this Incineroar right here. 
with a helping hand Thunderbolt now. The helping hand gotta fly. And if I dump on Incineroar this turn, that, that, that'd be a big play for me. And you're gonna go for follow me, so. Who go for follow me? This Thunderbolt gonna do big time damage into this thing. Actually, you got the Psychic Seeds, and it still does big time damage. And Dark Slayer, you're gonna pick up KO. Okay, no big deal. No big deal. So if I had to guess, they probably want to go into a Pokemon like Hatterene. I think that's a correct statement. Actually, no, they're not even going to swap. I right, know, no, we're chilling, we're chilling. We're chilling, so I'm going to go into Ninetales here. But they definitely want to get Hatterene out here. Definitely do. I'm going to launch a Heat Wave, and I'm just going to double down to this Incineroar because actually Kilowatch was faster. You're going to go for another follow me? I don't mind that. I mean... Maybe I should protect Kilowattrol because Flareblitz can launch and just KO me. But he's gonna let my let that Incineroar take a shot, so we can actually pick up a KO onto it if we land Heatwave into it. Who dodged it? Come on, man. I, I like I needed that KO. Now I think my Kilowattrol might die out here. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Ninetales. Thanks a lot, Ninetales. Oh, <gasps> Kilowattrol survived. Focus Ashen? Love it. I totally forgot we had to Focus Ash. That's massive. That's the best feeling, though. When you forget you have an item and it comes in clutch. Like, when you forget you have a berry, you're like, oh my lord. And I know what you guys are thinking. Like, Jeans, well, how do you always forget what items you're using? Guys, I use a different team every single day. Every single day, I'm using a different team. It's hard to keep up. So I just hop on the ladder, pick a team that I want, and I have lined up in my books from you guys or stuff I see online, and I just get after it. So I'm using a different team every single day. But who'd they go into? They went into Hatterene, right, and Snorlax. So from here, I'm actually just going to do this. I'm going to double down to this Hatterene because I really need to KO it. I really need to KO it. We don't want him setting up Trick Room. So I'm going to go into a T-Bolt. going to go into Snarl. And I'm going to Terrasalize this Hatterene going into Fire Typing, which is okay. I feel as long as they don't set up Trick Room, we should be fine here. The Thunderbolt gonna launch. How much damage are we doing here? A lot. Snarl should KO. Snarl should KO. And it does. That's GG's. Now I can just burn the Snorlax and wrap up this match. So match number two. Just as easy as match number one. And we're thriving here. We are thriving. Looking to go 2-0. and Masaga gonna launch. You're gonna say bye-bye to my Kilo. Not my Kilo, Watchful. Need my boy! My bird! That's my bird. But at least I get to bring out my Flareon. Ready to rock. Ready to rock. So I'm going to throw a burn on this Snorlax. I'm going to protect my Flareon. And you probably have Thick Fat. There's a chance you have Thick Fat, which kind of sucks. But still, I need this burn on you. And I need to protect. And the reason I want to protect is because I want the, the Guts to trigger. So we'll burn the Snorlax. We'll go into our Protect. And I would think they were to attack in Flareon rather than Ninetales, right? And then instead of Flare Blitz, we'd rather just go for Facade just in case you're Thick Fat, right? But Willow is so clutch, dude. It's so clutch. It's just so... It, it's like the best move whenever it lands. There goes the facade. And they're actually attacking Ninetales, which... Did you just crit me? That wasn't a crit. Oh, we actually just boosted facade's damage. We actually just boosted facade's damage. <laughs> we just boosted facade's damage. That's so funny. We legit boosted Facade's damage. And now I'm going to start sending Facades with my Flareon. So we still have Terra, so I mean Heat Wave's going to be good for us. And I'm going to boost my Facade with a normal Terra. With a normal Terra. We, we just boosted Facade's damage. That's so funny. Luckily this thing has no double hitting moves. So I'm able to just probably clean this match up. You know, sitting there I was like, why did it just do so much? We just burned it. I was like, wait a minute. I burned it. That's right. Heat Wave launches. We get a crit. I don't know if this thing's thick fat or not. And he's going to eat up a berry. This thing might be gluttony. That's definitely gluttony, right? Yeah. Biggie berry at 50%. So this thing's gluttony. Facade, I'm thinking it should KO here. And it does, yo. Flareon's just hitting like a truck. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2-0. Let's go hop into our third and final. Final match on its way. And now we are getting after it. This is going to be like a top tier regulation H team. Pelipper, Archaludon, Incineroar, Rillaboom, Golden Go, and Primarina. So we're going to have a Weather War here. I definitely need my Ninetales. I think leading Kilowattro isn't bad here. 
especially because if they do exactly what they did in the last match and lead Incineroar, we can get that competitive boost. So I'm going to go Kilowattrel here, maybe set up a Tailwind, try to go from there. Um, I could go Flareon, and pop Guts maybe if I want to. Um, yeah, I don't mind that. I'm going to go into Flareon. I am going to go into Kilowattrel. And on top of this, got to bring Ninetales for late game and either Tauros or Venusaur. Probably got to go Venusaur, right? Yeah, we're going to go Venusaur here. We got the Wildlands too. Put Pokemon to sleep. Just, it's just the best. It's just the best. I mean, Arch Ludon can be a huge threat if we lose the Weather War. I feel like if we lose this Weather War and they have Arch Ludon, it's game over for us. Like, we stand no chance. But if we win the Weather War, definitely stand a chance. It's all about the Weather War, baby. It's all about the Weather War today. So let's see who they end up leading. Hopefully it's Incineroar. Cream Arena and Rillaboom. Man. We got Flareon on the field, who I'm just going to protect this turn. And I'm going to go for an Air Slash. Where do I go for a Tailwind setup? Or I could go for Thunderbolt. I'm going to Terrasilize and Thunderbolt. Try to get rid of you and just protect and, and get boosting our guts here. I'm going to Terrasilize and a Ghost, just in case the Fake Out wants to fly in this slot. We're not going to have to deal with it. And Thunderbolt should do respectable damage. And on top of that, Kilowatch is going to be passed on the field. So next turn... It's going to go first. The nice little ghost terror type. We're hoping fake out launches into this slot. But I protect the Flareon just in case. So we'll see a terror type. Please be into that roll boom. It's got to be roll boom, right? Why is it pre marina? Dragon type pre marina. Lovely. Just what I wanted. Just what I wanted. So protect comes out from my Flareon. And Roboom's gonna go for fake out, correct? No fake out. Thunderbolt's gonna launch and do about negative five. He's gonna U-turn pivot. We didn't even need a Terrasilize, man. Oh man! Maybe we could just drop the flare blitz and KO that uh that what's it called? He's gonna go into Pelper, probably go for Liquid Voice, Hyper Voice, and just KO my kilowatt. Oh, that'd be upsetting. That'd be very upsetting. Because now we don't have Terra. But I can change the weather up. Man. That was just a perfect Terra for him. So we really don't really get get that much value with our Kilowatt roll. But I get to bring out Ninetales. And I have Guts triggered. So Guts is triggered right now. Um, Get to go into a Ninetales. Do I just start snarling here? Hmm. I definitely should facade. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go into a snarl here, just lower Primarina special attack. And I think we're gonna go into a facade. Just so I can hit. I kinda wanna go into like a flare blitz and read the swap. Hmm. I think facade just still does good damage, which is why I I, I feel fine going into it. I'm gonna attack this Pelper here, and there's the withdrawal. Are you going back into the roller boom? I'd be surprised there. He's gonna go back into Rolboom, so we're still doing respectable damage with Flare Blitz. Protect comes out from Primarina. And Snarl is gonna get blocked, so we're gonna have to swap our Ninetales into our Venusaur next turn. And Facade, how much damage are you doing? A lot. A lot. Almost that would have been a big KO. That would have been a monstrous KO. That would have been a monstrous KO. So I could just protect this, uh... I could protect this, uh... Flareon, which I think I have to do, right? I'm gonna swap into Venusaur. So I'll swap Venusaur. I'm just gonna protect him. Because if they want to go into that Pelipper swap... And then Primarina Hyper Voice, that would just... KO me instantly. So I'm gonna swap my Ninetales. I need my Weather Elite game. We're gonna win this match. And we'll see what they want to... How they want to play this one. The Venusaur out and about. We love his Pokemon, and we're protecting our Flareon. So no swap from them. Maybe a U-turn pivot. He's gonna go for a fake out. No, he's staying on the field here. He's staying on the field. So there's Hyper Voice. Gonna really not do that much damage to Venusaur at all. In the sun. Yeah. Real low. We're out speeding. I mean, obviously they can go into. Uh... Obviously they can go into Pelipper here. 
But I feel like we should just facade and maybe put Primarina to sleep. I think I'm cool with that. I think I'm definitely cool with that. Yeah, so we're gonna put Primarina to sleep. We're gonna go for the facade here. KO the Roboom or do damage into Pelipper. And they're gonna go right into Pelipper. I'm hoping Venusaur... Venusaur still has a shot out speed. I kinda need it, right? I kinda need it. Cause we don't have Tyra anymore. So out comes to Drizzle. Sleep Powder is out speeding. Come on, man. Come on, man. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? What do you want from me? I lose my Flareon because of that. I lose it. I have wide lens, dude. I have wide lens. Oh, we could have been sitting in a great position. Primarina Sleep, Pelipper on 1 HP. We got our Flareon and, and Venusaur rolling, who's still out speeding here. I bring back out the sun. Um, oh, dude, that hurts. <laughs> that really hurts. That really hurts. That really hurts. Do we think he goes back into Rollaboom? Or does he go into his final Pokemon, which is probably Archiludon? Primarina is going to protect, that's the thing. I think we acid spray this slot with a with a heat wave on it. Oh my lord, dude. <laughs> it's so annoying. <laughs> yeah, he's going to go back into this roll room. So luckily we're not going to get swept this match. But still, there's protect on Primarina. It just sucks. It really does suck. It really does suck. We are hoping... We are hoping that Ninetales can outspeed Pelipper. Because if I can Snarl pick up the KO on the Pelipper, we know we outspeed Primarina even in the rain. And I can have another chance of putting it to sleep. Oh man, dude, that's so rough. Hey, I hate this game. Like, I have the Y Lens on this Venusaur, so it doesn't miss sleep patterns. And what does it do? It misses sleep patterns. So Pelipper back out and about. And when the weather war. Kind of depends who the last Pokemon is. Like I said, if it's Arch Ludon, that's really tough. But I'm going to try to put Primarina to sleep. And if you outspeed, let me see your speed. You have a shot. You have a shot at outspeed, Pelipper. But you, you need outspeed. You do. That's massive. So I pick up the KO on the Pelipper. Primarina now minus one. And I'm looking to put this bad boy to sleep. Can I land it this time? Let's go. Let's go. So Night Night Primarina. Rain is here. As long as this isn't Archelude, I'm kind of hoping it's like Incineroar or something. Golden Girl would be a little bit better for us. Actually, Golden Girl would be probably best option for us. Man, it's Archelude. GG's. GG's. Can't really do much unless, unless, hold up. I have to add, well, ask spray has no effect. Yeah. GG's. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. Um... He's more special attacking rather than, unless he's like body press boosting. I think Snarl can help us out here. So I'm going to go for another Snarl. I could have sleep spam there, but I'm not about that life. And Earth Power we're going to launch. Hold up. Wait a minute. Get a crit. Ooh. Don't be going. Don't, don't KO my Venusaur. Electro shot. That's got to be going into Nine Tails. So you're saying there's a chance here. It's gotta be going into Nine Tails. It is going into Nine Tails. Full HP. Oh baby. Hold up. I got buried too. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. That crit was huge. That crit was huge. So from here, we're just gonna spam Snarl and Earth Power. Keep loving this Prima Primarina special attack. So Earth Power here, Snarl across the board. And we might win this match. We might win this match. This is a tough team that we're going up against. Like, you're, you're, you're gonna be seeing a team like this or similar to this in Regulation H, like, a lot. The Snarl flies again. Doing nice damage. Primary is now minus two, maybe even minus three. And Venusaur is gonna be able to KO the Archer Ludon. Bye bye, Archer Ludon. That crit saved us. That was a huge crit. I'm surprised they didn't just, like, target down this Venusaur. And now we're sitting here and it looks like we're gonna win this game. Primarina is still asleep. We're going to snarl this bad boy up again. 
And we can just attack. We could go for Acid Spray. Or I could just start Earth Powering it. I mean, Acid Spray is not bad. Just lower its special defense here as well. It's a little bit of Snarl action. I swear, if you get a, like a crit here, that, that could be ugly. But you're minus three. You are, you are done for. Acid Spray going to launch. Lower this thing's special defense. And now we can just finish it off next turn. But Primarina finally wakes up. Haze comes out here. Not a bad call, but you don't want to outspeed us, so it's pretty much game from here. Because now I can just go... Uh, would Leaf Storm do more damage than Earth Power? Earth Power is just 90 base. This is not very effective, but it's a stab. So let's do the math. Do the math, Gene. Split 130 in half. Yeah, it's 65. Plus stab, which would be 1.5. Honestly, I think Leaf Storm does more. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for Snarl. I'm going to go Leaf Storm. And I have a feeling I'm going to miss some moves. Why did, Why am I missing moves? Don't miss this Leaf Storm. Can you KO here, Venusaur? Oh, no. I need that Snarl to land. All right, Venusaur. All right, Venusaur. All I need you to do is land a move. And you win this game. That's all I need you to do. I need you to land this. Actually, well, Earth Power KO, I'm not going to trust it. I, uh... Earth Power should KO. I'm going to trust. I'm going to trust. I'm going to trust. I'm going to trust. I'm going to trust Earth Power here. I know minus two. I know minus two. But... They have, like, this much left. Earth Power, you should be able to... You should be able to get, this, get the job done here. If you don't, like, I might never use Venusaur again. I might never use Venusaur again. Looking for the perfect record. Coming down to this move. Bang, bang. Let's go. GG's 3-0 for today's video. Absolutely killing it with this Flareon team. Flareon killing it in today's video. Going 3-0 and using this Pokemon in every single match. He did ridiculous amounts of damage with Facade and Flare Boys. All we had to do was protect, trigger that Toxic Orb, and then Guts was going crazy. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.